So just to quickly explain how you can avoid refresh failures when you are when you have a data set that's connected to a website or any yeah any website um, data that you've used within Power BI and um, Power BI desktop and you're trying to refresh that data up into the cloud or set a sh scheduled refresh on that data. Um, so this is just trying to explain how by using relative path, you can bypass that error or avoid that error. So this is what will come up. So this is an error message that came up for me when I tried to refresh a website data um, that I built of um, COVID data from several websites. So you will have this error message or maybe you have faced this issue as well. So how do we avoid this? So relative path is the way, and I got a bit of that information from Chris Webb's blog, really useful information. However, um, this didn't really um, help me. I had to tweak it to my own um, benefit. So now let's just quickly see what was before and then what is now after. It's just going to show you. So great. So this is the old one. This is the old version. And this is the new version here. Okay, and this is how I would get the data, just really using the website address, right? But then of course this error out when I try to be fresh. So this is how you then modify that M language using a relative path. So that's that's it there. So you just put that there and it's all just really splitting the the website from the um, extra um, layers or pages. So that's what you've done there. So that's what I've done there. So that's the website. That's the full website. And I've just put a comma there and put relative path within square brackets, close it up and that's it and then that refreshes. This is an easy one because it's just one straight um, website. But when we are looking, let's look at another source here. When we are looking at this one, right? Um, let's go to the old version as well. Okay. Great. Right, yeah. So this is the old version where I just, again, chuck in the website. I mean, note here I'm trying to do a bit of um, dynamic um, loading because I'm trying to get yesterday's data. Yeah, that's just M language saying, get me yesterday's data, put it in this format. But really, this is the website. And again, this, this was failing. So the walk around with this one was get the main website address there, put a comma, and then chuck the remaining into the relative path um, bit there. Scroll up a bit. Okay, scroll that up. Great. So relative path and chuck the remaining bits into it, really, including, I mean, the whole, the whole bit into the square brackets and that's it. And that worked. So really the, um, I think what I'm trying to point out here is splitting your website into two bits, the main bit of the website, that's the first part, and then the other part. Um, if you read the blog, it does explain why you need to do this. It's kind of like you're um, leading the, the whole process on to make it look like you're actually trying to access the website and then you then direct it to the relative path, which is really useful. And that's the reason why it fails because you're trying to load the whole path at once. I mean, yeah, you can have a read, I'll put this, um, I put this link in the description below as well. And the final one was, of course, this as well. Um, yeah, I've chucked it into the relative path as well. Let's look at what the old one looks like. Great. Um, yeah. Cool. So, I mean, this is coming from GitHub and that's, um, that's the whole link there. Yeah, that's the whole GitHub link. Again, I'm doing dynamic, um, you know, building the date string there, ignore that one. Um, so this is the main one I'm trying to get your attention to. That's the one. So all that link, I've then split it out 
into two bits. So that's one and then the relative path. Um, that, that's, that's it really. And then you cover it up in the square bracket. Open square bracket, cover square bracket, close your bracket there. That's it. Um, I hope this is useful and helped someone. Again, just to show you that was failing. And then now this is now working. When I go in here, that's the old one that's failing. This is a new one that's working and it's all refresh. Um, really good. I even have it on a scheduled refresh as well. You know, so that's all working. Look at the refresh history, all working. All, all working. Yep. So great stuff. I hope this is useful.